Hey y'all, I'm back with another video and today I want to show you guys how I do my brows when I am working because um, due to some life changes, experiences that I have been experiencing for a little while has prompted me to reevaluate my life in general, reevaluate myself in general, um, and reevaluate how I looked at things in general. It's funny how when we start to ask God for something, um, he reveals things that may not be what you want to see, but it's necessary for you to go into your growth. I know that you guys don't know what I'm talking about, and I will discuss that later as I am um, preparing a video to explain that. Now, in all honesty, I wasn't going to come back to YouTube because I have been on YouTube since YouTube has actually launched, and I haven't seen the success of it. But I had to realize that number one, I do not know too much about content creating and for me to get serious I would have to learn so being that I am working on a lot of things for myself I decided to just turn on the camera on my iPhone and just show you guys how I do my brows now disclaimer I am a makeup artist okay and everyone including a makeup artist does things different in their own unique way doesn't make them right doesn't make them wrong it's just the way that they do, do things as we do in life so this is just my method so as you can see here i don't wear a full face of makeup for work i might one day as i like i said i am working on you know we're walking into who i am destined to be it is sad that it took a situation for me to realize that but i'm glad because like i said I am working on me and getting myself together. That's one thing I had to admit that I never worked on myself or I never put myself first. So a lot of things are going to be changing for me. So as you can see, I like to go in first and take translucent powder, which is the Morphe translucent powder, and I will put it throughout my brows and then I will go in with a primer. Yes, I do prime my brows. Now, if I need to stick my brows down, I don't use a brow gel. I like to use the gel that you use when you are um, putting down your wigs because that will hold the longest and some of that be sweat proof as you know louisiana has bipolar weather and like i said i work in the medical field and sometimes i can start sweating so i just go in with a one dollar eyeliner pencil this is by la colors in the shade black brown i'll go in and i'll feel it i don't have an arch um in one of my brows so if you look at my face really good it you know it's i like to say um they're very one at one side of my face is higher than the other um but you know our faces are really not asymmetrical it's just because of how we look at it that we can see it looks like you know it is the same um side and one brow is fuller than the other so i try to make my eyebrows look like sisters or cousins they definitely are not going to be twins and i am working on my skin um the dark marks are the hardest right now for me to get out of my skin some areas are lightening up and some are not so i am looking for me a good esthetician so i might be going into 2023 or in 2023 i might look into doing a chemical peel i do have a um, skincare routine that you can check out on tiktok that's where i hang out the most with tiktok as you can see most people will start at the tail of their brow me myself i just look at my brows and see where i really need to feel in it to make them look or appeal full now my brows are naturally full i happen to just arch them down and because i like to be able to manipulate my brows to look any way that i want them to look but when they grow back they grow back they can full um the scar that you see in my eyebrow came from as a child when i was playing with someone in he accidentally he had a hammer in his head his hand <laughs> in the back of the hammer we, we, were, we were kids and needless to say um he scuffed and permanently scarred me um to where it won't go back now i used to hide it and i used to feel it in but now i try not to because it's just a part of life and who i am and i'm wanting to work on the things that i don't like about myself but also wanting to accept the things that are just there and that's one thing um, that we need to work on as humans because sometimes we can't change certain
set narratives about ourselves, but we can learn to accept it, um, learn from it, and grow from it. So as you can see, I was listening to this really bomb. I subscribed to this um, this DJ, and his playlist is like phenomenal. So I basically is almost done listening to all of his all of his playlists, but I'll go back in and play certain ones his music is off the chain and I usually don't subscribe to any music channels but this one right here I had to I mean I was really really jamming in the bathroom in my zone while um, you know my consumer was taking a rest or whatnot so I go back in and I brush my brows through I'm so sorry about the lighting like like I said you guys I just happened to pick this up because I wanted to do a TikTok um, much like how y'all are doing uh, vlogmas here on YouTube, I do what they call talkmas. So I release, you know, little random videos for the day all the way up into Christmas. And I just wanted to do like a eyebrow routine on how I do my brows. And so I was just like, okay, well, let me upload the longer version onto YouTube because I did have some people from Facebook when I was really, really, really deep on Facebook. Um, ask me about my brows. They love how I do my brows. Now, as you can see right here, like I said, everyone has their own unique way of doing brows. I happen to see things different when I'm doing makeup, and that's part of being a makeup artist, being able to see your visions. So, as you can see right here, I'm actually taking a Ruby Kisses concealer palette. Sometimes I will take like my foundations or what foundations that I use. Sometimes I will take the Fenty concealers, different Fenty concealers, and do it. It just depends, but I like this Ruby Kisses um, new um, contour uh, palette because it has like different colors in there, so you kind of adjust your skin tone. Um, uh, you, you can use as a highlight on your brow to give that illusion of the arch, and that's what you see me doing right here. As you can see, I'm not really manip I usually manipulate my brows like higher than that because I like a high arch, but today I decided to you know, just go natural and just follow. Um, the natural curvature of my brow and I like that like that so I'm like okay well I might just use this brow routine oh, um, for a while and then what I do is I'll take a small fluffy brush and I will go in and um, blend in the colors and then I will set them again with um, translucent powder and I'll do that for the other side as well you'll see yeah so when I was saying that I was on my Facebook I was on Facebook deep. So I started reevaluating like where I wanted to really, really promote myself. Now I love um, doing makeup, like I said, as a makeup artist, but I'm not gonna say, oh, everybody calls me at the drop of the time. I'm always booked and busy. Um, being that I do work two jobs, one of my jobs happens to be a little bit more demanding. And so I'm working on that as well because it has taken away from me doing creativity. It has taken away from me to create content the way that I want to create content. By the time um, I make it to my night job, sometimes if I don't go home and take a nap, I'm like completely worn out, plus um, worn out from the changes that has occurred into my life. And so I will not have time to basically sit there and just do any content. So I try to film as much as I can. And then I realized I come from a small town, small mind. And so they're not going to get me on the level of where I want to be or sing my name into rooms that they want to be. As you can see, how I'm showing y'all how I cleaned up one brow and I showed y'all the other that's not clean. Now, like I said, everyone does their uh, brows different. I like to take the fluffy brush because I like the faded look in the front of the brow and I'll go through with that. I also take translucent powder and my brows as well. So as you can see, this is the finished look on how I do my brows. These lashes are from my lash line. These are more natural lashes. They're more um, flared out on the end. So they will give you an illusion of a great eyelash, natural eyelash extension. Um, other days I'll wear like gold brows, but today I was like, let me just wear natural brows and I put on my lip gloss. And even though it's not much, it does make me feel good that I'm able to 